Hello and welcome to SIBO Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm a KKM Financial. We're looking at a VIX cash headed to multi-month lows today, 19 spot three zeros where the cash level is. Moving closer to those April lows of 18 spot four five as the SPX continues to realize further upside momentum. When you look at realized volatility week over week, we're seeing that dropping. 10 day realized volatility down four and a half vol points to 15 and a half. 30 day realized volatility down two vol points week over week to 18. At the money straddle in the SPX, uh, 30 days out implied vol level of 16 and a half. That's down two vol points week over week. And we look at the SIBO SKU index. We're seeing that ticking higher today to the highest level since early May at 127. As we're seeing relative demand for way out of the money puts in the SPX picking up here as the SPX continues to realize further upside. Looking at the uh, activity in the futures market on the VIX futures, uh, August, September roll market out 15 cents today to $2.50. We're seeing a steepening of the curve all the way across the term structure and contango now in the curve all the way out to April of next year. Activity on the options in the VIX, we're seeing some pretty heavy options activity, particularly in August. August 20 puts, 30,000 of those went up today. August 32 and a half calls, we did see 20,000 of those trade. Then you can move out to October, October 23 puts, we saw 13,000 of those trade today. Then you go out to November, November 40, 60 call spread goes up 6.5 thousand times today. Looking at next week, we have several things that can influence the vowel structure. Manufacturing data early in the week, and we have retail sales also coming out next week. Lingering earnings announcements. Uh, the Fed will continue to focus on the markets and inflation moving forward. And momentum in the market, I think, will be a big driver next week of the vowel structure.